All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to connect to our MySQL database. And after that, we're going to um, get rid of this these static lines here and actually output our shouts that are now stored in our database. All right, so we want to connect in our database.php file. Okay, it's only going to be a couple lines of code. Um, we're using pretty much the easiest solution uh, to, to interact with a MySQL database. Um, all right, so we're going to open a PHP tag. I don't know what, what that is. Uh, and let's see, we're going to connect to MySQL. All right, so what we're going to do is create a connection variable. All right, and we're going to set that to MySQL I connect. All right, and you should always be using MySQLi. Don't use MySQL Connect. It's deprecated and it's just um, it's much less secure. Just it's much better to use MySQLi. Uh, if possible, it's it's better to use something like prepared statements or and PDO. Um, but that's more advanced, and I don't want to get into that until uh, after we we get the, kind of the basics down. All right, so this connect function uh, takes a few parameters. All right, so the first one is going to be the host, which is localhost most of the time. Uh, and then the username, the database username, which is root. And then the password, which I just threw in this simple password. Uh, and then we want the name of the database, which is shout it. All right. So that's our connection variable, and we'll, we'll need this variable for certain tasks. All right, now what we want to do is test the connection. All right, now we can use, we could just say if, if um, not connected, all right, so we can just check and see if this is not, all right, if it's not true, uh, but we can also use a useful function called MySQLI connect Erno okay Erno Erno I don't know how it's pronounced but E R R N O all right so we can check for errors with that all right and then we can echo out an error string we'll say uh, failed connect all right and we don't just want that we want to actually have some information about what happened all right so we can actually throw in this uh, mysqli connect error all right and that'll give us specific details about what happened because just seeing fail to connect to mysql that's not going to be very helpful when debugging all right, so that's it for the database file. We want to save that. Now we want to go back to index and make sure that we include that file because we're going to be using it. We're going to be interacting with the database, so we need a link to that file. Okay, and we're just going to use a simple include. Alright, so let's go to the index file, reload. Alright, so nothing's happening, which is good. Alright, now if we go back to that uh, database file and let's let's change the password. We'll throw a, a, a character in there. Now we reload and we have some useful information. We have um, access denied for user root. So basically, it's telling us that our password's not correct. Um, and right here, it says undefined variable connect error. I'm not sure why it says that. Oh. Wait. Undefined variable MySQL connect error. Oh, I have a. Um, a dollar sign on this. <laughs> it's a function, it shouldn't have a dollar sign. Alright, so let's try that again. Alright, so failed to connect to MySQL. 
which is our error that we're putting out. We have the, the, the PHP error and then our error along with the information that is passed in through this function. All right, and you could set this to die if you don't want if you don't want the script at all to show. All right, so um, we could do this. All right, and then if they try, it's not going to show the script at all. I think I prefer it more this way. All right, so let's uh, put that back. Password. So now that we know that we're connected, we can actually uh, we can close out database because we don't need that file anymore. Um, so we can actually run a query now, get the results, and print them out. And it's not too difficult to do that. Um, just a couple lines of code, really. All right. So in the index file, we're gonna open up a PHP block. All right, so let's um, we'll say create select query. All right, so I'm going to put it in a variable called query. And if you know MySQL, then you should have no problems at all. Uh, if you don't, then we're just dealing with extremely simple queries. All right, so basically what we want to do is just select all shouts. All right, that's what we want because that's what we want to put down here is just all the shouts. All right, uh, so we're going to say select. Now we can specify fields here. We could say username. Um, what else was there? Time or whatever. Or we can just say select all. All right, and you can do that with an asterisk. And I'm sure most of you know this already. I'm just I'm just trying to point this out for people that may not. Um, all right, so we're going to say select all from, and then the name of the table, which is shouts. Okay, so that is probably well, that is the simplest query that you could you can do. <laughs> all right, um, so now what we're going to do is create another variable to hold the results of the query. Okay, so we're going to run it here with the uh, MySQLi query function. Okay, so then we're just going to pass in that query. All right, and we could just as well have done this and not even had this line. We could do that, but I, I've always liked to put my queries inside of a variable and then pass that variable. All right, so that'll get the shouts for us. Now, if we have, if we just leave it as as it is now nothing's going to happen. It'll run the query, it'll store them in this variable, but we need to output it somewhere. All right, and we want to output it down here. Now, when you have multiple records coming back like we do, um, you need to create a loop, all right, and then output each, uh, each row in an iteration. Okay, so we want to output list items. So right here, I'm going to say PHP, and we're going to um, we're going to use a while loop. Okay, so we're going to say while. And I'm going to use the shorthand syntax like this. That way we can just put straight HTML inside of the loop. All right, so we're going to say while row. Okay, we're going to have to create this variable called row and say MySQLi fetch. Now there's a, there's a, a bunch of different fetch methods you can use. You can you can get an associative array or an array or an object, things like that. Um, we're going to use an associative array, so we're going to say fetch asoc, which is the name of the method, and we're going to pass in shouts. We're going to pass in the variable that's holding our result. Often you'll see this variable called results or result. Um, but I like to be more more descriptive. All right, so we're saying basically what we're saying is while there's still rows in the database that match our query, we're going to do something. All right, and what we want to do is output a list item with our information, with our um, time and name and message. All right, so we can get rid of all these static ones. 
because it's going to run through the loop and print them out as we go, as it finds records. All right, but we don't want the, the static information. If we keep it like this, uh, unexpected end of file, 36. Um, oh, I forgot the PHP. Expects at least two parameters. Oh, we didn't pass in the connection. When you do MySQLI query, you want to pass in your connection variable. Okay, and that's that's actually in our database file. Um, and then, yeah, that should do it. All right. So what it's doing is it is getting the information from the database, and we are going through them in this loop, but it's outputting this a static it's static information. All right. That's why we see the same one. Um, so what we want to do is replace the static content with dynamic content. So we'll do the time first. All right. So we're going to get rid of this and open up a PHP block. All right, and in here, we want to echo out row time. All right, so we're getting the row from the database. We're getting the time field here. All right, so that takes care of the time. Let's copy this. And we want to put the name right here. Okay, so we're just going to change this to name. And then finally, we want the message. So we'll replace this message. All right, so that should do it. If we save it and reload, okay, undefined index name. That's right, it's user, not name. So we want user. All right. So it looks a little funny because we have these this um, dummy text, but you can see that it's it's working well. Um, they're all being pulled out. We have what five records? Okay, so that's coming from these five records. Let's actually uh, make the name bold so that it stands out a little more. So the user right here, we're going to say strong. All right, so there we go. There's our shout blocks. There's our, our shouts. All right, so the final uh, step in this process is to create um, insert functionality. So we want the person obviously to, to put in their name and message and be able to submit through the browser. So we'll do that next.